Welcome back. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Aries through Pisces, seeing what your person could be thinking, feeling about you. Starting with Aries. We are going to do elements first. Just want to also take a moment to say thank you for all the views. This is so much fun to do. All right, Aries, dealing with another fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have for that person? Please, source. All right. Oh, this person's not ready for giving anything right now. You got the Ten of Swords. You know, this person feels very hurt. They feel there was an injustice and things just were not correct. One more. One more. Can be a Libra as well. Wow. So that's a lot of anxiety. Really feeling stabbed in the back. Ugh, I'd take caution with that one. I'm not sure what the hell's got them feeling so bad, but it's not pretty. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini's, Libra's, and Aquarius, air signs. Queen of Wands reversed. Why is the Queen reversed? Stop, burn, and oh boy. Okay, so this person's feeling a lot like you're accusing them of something, all right? It's like defensive energy. Ooh. However, with that queen being reversed, you know, they feel like you are watching the hell out of them. Like they're watching your, you're watching their every move and that you do not trust them. Okay. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Okay. One more. We have the three of pentacles reversed and the two of cuppity cup cups. One more source. All right, this person is kind of d dropping this defensive mechanism that they have built inside them. I want one more for that nine of wands reversed. One more. They could have, now they could have stepped out. However, <laughs> doesn't always mean that they are. They also can be a little bit paranoid. Wondering if you are. Okay, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna just have to stab the opposite person. Sorry, cross watcher, but this is looking like you stepped out on this relationship. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. And then we're going to grab a clean deck. Source, what do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign? All right. Queen of Pentacles, reliability. One or two more, please. Is this person ready to, to uh, be more reliable and responsible? Okay, so this is somebody that you are not in a relationship right now that looks like there is somebody that had walked away wants to come back and start over they would be reliable now all right grabbing a clean deck Let's see what we have aries 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 source person most on aries mind what are they thinking feeling thinking and feeling first please what else Let's see what popped up. There's that Queen of Wands. So you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. That was the air signs. That, again, was the kind of, I'm going to roll with that because that's kind of the person that felt like they were being accused of something. Always having to kind of watch their back. Yeah, they feel like you're, you're on patrol of them all the time, assessing. One more for that Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of like they're watching, you know, it's almost like they feel you right behind them going, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry, Aries, I'm telling them like it is here. Okay, one more for that seven of pentacles. It's almost like you feel insecure. I mean, you make this person happy. They are happy with you. Can be a Leo. How do they view Aries? They just feel like you're constantly up their ass. There it is. Holy crap. If you guys rewind this, that page was right with that queen. They think you are constantly watching them. One more. One more for that page first. Yeah. And afraid of being hurt. Mm -mm. How do they feel? Feel. Okay. 
They feel you are the future. They, they feel really good moving forward with this. But they're seeing you as going, I, I see you do this and it hurts me. How do you view them, Aries? Let's see if we can get some energy rolling here on what your thoughts are. Oh, for cripe's sake. There it is. Exactly what we just went through. They, you know, th this is showing that you're going, are you? Are you cheating? Are you flirting? Are you texting somebody else? A couple more. Do they look guilty to me? Mm, no. Here, Here's what you're like. It's almost like you're going, are you trying to leave? Are you trying to leave? Can be another Aries. A lot of insecurities, and it's not theirs necessarily. It's making them really feeling like you do not trust them. One more. One more. How are you feeling about... Okay, so you do have a connection with this person. This is a deep soul connection. Also can be a Gemini here. Heavy on the Aries as well. What needs to happen is a better balance, okay? This is how you're feeling. This is what needs or can move forward. Bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Cups. This has a lot of potential of being absolutely fine if you, you know, let go of some of this crap. You need to work on you here. Ooh, ooh. Four of Wands. This is one hell of a connection. Mm-hmm. I don't think that, you know, there's anything that you need to worry about with this person. I definitely see that there is more work that's needed in this. There's a lot of sexual energy here. This person's screw happy, perhaps, or you are. But Ten of Cups ah, can be Sagittarius. So moving forward, moving forward, more moderation, less spying, a little more trust. Really getting that big time. Six of, ooh, my little imbalance here, making sure you guys can see the cards. Six of Pentacles. Have a little more faith in this person that they're, you know, not giving to other people, but giving fairly to you. You have the strength. Hold back a little bit on the accusations and bullshit. You, you know, you, you're able to see that you're not the victim here. Use better judgment. I mean, this is really very specific. There's a, a need to want to get moving, moving, moving. Um, if you do give them a little more reliability and I believe you and I'm not even going to question you. I'm not going to question you. It's either going to work or it's not. You will have that commitment. With the Four of Swords right on top of commitment, I'm also going to say you guys could have a little bit of a different ideal as far as faith um you know where this other person's not so you feel like um it, i'm getting this sense of how come i feel this way and you don't you know you where you're saying more i i you don't care if i do it no they just are trusting a little bit more than you are yeah and it's probably caused some arguments in the past that you, you know, it looks like it was dropped. There have been, you know, you need to choose. You need to choose to move forward and trust this person. King of Pentacles is, is reliable when he's upright. He's working hard. The star, I mean, this is sweet. So what I am getting loud and clear here for you, Aries, is that you need to back off a little bit. Keep in mind, rules can be reversed, but, you know, you're getting things in your head that might not even be happening. I'm not saying this is everybody's case. It's not. But whoever this is going to resonate with, it definitely is going to be right on, right on point. Gemini. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Leo. Aries heavy. So you could be dealing with another fire sign. Yes, definitely. Sagittarius heavy. Have some more, you know, hold back a little bit from always thinking that there's going to be somebody that's hurting you. You're taking this victim mentality and bringing it into a connection where it doesn't look like there, there need to be concerned. Let's get an answer from source. Okay, answer for Aries, please. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so for Aries. Please, source. All right, let's see what we have for you. Whatever your question is, is full show. 
All right, Aries, that's what I have for you today. And on we go to Taurus. All right, Taurus. Let's make some cards fly. What do we have? Oh, yes, and I wanted to say thank you to all my viewers. It's so much fun. And the commenters, I absolutely love it. It is so much fun. So thank you so much. Okay, Taurus, dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. This person wants to have a connection with you. However, they feel like they have to defend themselves constantly. They, you know, they're getting kind of bitter about it. It's there. Okay. What do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? All right, Queen of Wands reversed and the Six of Cups. Why is the Queen reversed? This person isn't really, I mean, there's good memories there, but this person didn't put any work into the situation, at least not in the past. Bottom of the deck, they're still thinking about it. Mm. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. The Fool, reversed, also can be heavy on the Aries here. There's something that you're not seeing about this person, and it involves what they do behind your back. Hangman, this person's kind of quiet. They might be dropping. This also can be a Pisces. Heavy. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Magician. Ooh, we like the Magician. What else? What else, Taurus? Okay. <laughs> this is kind of like somebody that's all sappy crappy. They might be using sex against you to get what they want. That's really what I'm getting there. All right. All right. Clean duck. Hopefully you don't hear the noise in the background. <laughs> the Wookiee got me a mic. So you guys could let me know how the microphone sounds. That'd be great. Okay, Taurus, this person, most on their mind. Source, how's that person thinking and feeling? One more shuffle. Taurus, this person on their mind, thinking and feeling. Okay, let's see what flew out. The Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's clarify this tower. Let's get one more for this tower. They had a rude awakening, and they want things to go into a better connection, better direction. They want things to go forward. Oh, this is somebody that has a lot of... They could have chose between you and somebody else, but this is somebody that you had one hell of a connection with at one time. We're going to start with that. One more for that wheel, and we'll see how they feel about you. Wow. Wow. Okay, they want this to move forward. Ooh. The Six of Wands is absolutely succeeding and feeling like you got it going on. People are noticing. They could be wanting you to notice them. How do they view Taurus? How do they view Taurus? Five of Cups reversed. Well, they're wanting to come back your direction. Probably apologize for something. One more. Maybe three more. Queen of Cups. So this person does care about you. They also can see that you are very intuitive and had a lot to offer, have a lot to offer. There is emotion here. So right now they see you as single and able to take care of yourself. I mean, this person actually admires you and looks up to you and all of your abilities to do so. Like you, you know, like you have your act together. King of Pentacles. They know what you are looking for is someone that is very reliable and steps up to the plate and backs you as a partner. How do you view them, Taurus? This person had one hell of a rude awakening. Okay, Seven of Swords. So there was something that you did not trust about them. They were either holding back their emotions or they were lying in full of shit. Okay, upright, holding back emotions, reverse, full of shit. Reverse, full of shit. Ten of Wands, reverse. Why do we have the Ten of Wands reversed? There's jealousy. It's that feeling of being betrayed, overburdened. Okay. 
this person also held back. Okay, so I mean, we got the sneakery shit. Doesn't mean that they were out screwing somebody else, but it definitely could be. Holding back their emotions. They want to come in and, and boss up. Ooh. You know, that Four of Pentacles is just like holding tightly. That's what you're doing. You're not sure you can trust this person. There was absolutely something that you found out that did not make you happy. Potential moving forward. Potential moving forward for Taurus. The world. This is really going to be your call. Does it seem like this person wants to come your direction? Yes. You got the Page of Pentacles you know, dropping right on by to say, I think I learned something out of this. The world is starting a new chapter. That's all going to be up to you on if it's with this person or not. That's you. That's the Page of Swords. You're kind of watching. You have two pages there, so there could be more than one person that you are dealing with. However, I'm feeling this is just your energy coming in. This person wants a reconciliation. There is a potential of a reconciliation. And you're getting kind of ants in your pants about it. Four of Swords reversed. And the Magician, you could be manifesting or they could be manifesting a new, you know, they're, they're sticking up for themselves. They're seeing you probably have the upper hand on this. <laughs> they want this to come in and fast. There is compassion. There is love. Yeah, this seems, you know, this, the need to forgive and to compromise if you want this to move forward. Let's see what we have for, because there was one hell of a rude awakening and they want this to go forward. There is love here. What do we have for absolutely single, single, singles? Single, single, singles. Ready to mingle, mingle. Ten of Pentacles. So it can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that, you know, isn't ready to settle down just yet, but, you know, wants to date and have some fun. Emotionally, they just uh, aren't quite on the ball. That can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're not ready to settle down just yet. They, if this would be absolutely new. Could it lead to something further? Yes. Can this tie into the actual slightly connected Taurus? Absolutely. The Ace of Cups is mutual. It's being open emotionally. This is really nice energy for a shitty story. All right, let's get an answer from Source for Taurus. Clean up. You guys should see my table after I am done. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Yes, no, maybe so for Taurus. Please, Source, Tauruses. Question most on their mind. And we have, of course, and what came out with it was the answer is yes. Okay, that's what I have for you, Taurus. And on we go. Much better energy today. I'm liking it. All right, Geminis. Clean deck. Let's see what we have for elements first. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source. What do we have for Geminis dealing with a fire? Okay, you got the Four of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Cups. They're dropping a connection. Is it with you or somebody else? King of Cups. This person's emotionally not available at all. I'd let that shit just go. That or they're dealing with somebody that is not with it at all and they're just dropping it. All right. You'll know. Okay. Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. You got the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Two more. Ten of Swords reverse and the Five of Wands. This person would... I don't like it. I don't like it because I see competitive bullshit. I see potential of dishonesty, somebody that's already in a relationship. And one more. Ten of... There's somebody that's got a lot of anxiety about the situation. I mean, that's definitely potential of a breakup. I don't like it. This person would treat you like an option. Run away. Okay. What do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces? Flipped right in the deck. The Tower, Rude Awakening. Something that had to be destroyed to be rebuilt. King of Wands. One more. This could be you starting over. This could be them being done with a 
completely. If you were questioning if this person was completely done with something from the past, they are. It was hurtful. They're moving past it, but they do have, look at that, the king of wands in the world, a new chapter. The king of wands, ooh, they get what they want. They're very outgoing. One more. Oh, I did. Okay. If you are completely single, that is a definite yes on a cancer. Not that it can't be any sign, but this is moving forward. This is somebody that takes responsibility. I like it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for Gemini. All right. Wands and swords. Okay. Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords. This person's really quiet right now. They're, they're taking kind of an isolation period for themselves. Nine of Wands. They have a little battle left in them, but we'll see how much here. No. Could have put you in a third party. They could have been put in a third party and they feel like the victim right now. I don't think that person's ready for it. squat. All right, let's get a clean deck. Get this one out of the way. All right. Come here, deck. Gemini's, did I say thank you to all my views to you guys? I really appreciate the views and the fun comments. You guys are awesome. Thank you so very much. All right. Person most on your mind, thinking, and feeling. This came out sideways. Both of them did. So they are confused on whether they want to give to the situation or remain single. This person has insecurity issues. They could be a little codependent. They really feel burdened. What else? Okay, it can be a Capricorn. We're going to go with that first. Clarify this devil. Clarify the devil. Okay, three. Three could mean there's too many people involved here. How do they feel? This person is really deep in contemplation, trying to make a decision, waiting for the ships to come in, but they're they're waiting could be because you're making them wait. How do they feel about you? Wow. One of the two of you wants a reconciliation. There's been a there's been a breakup, period. Okay, they want to come in fast. They want to communicate. This is action forward. This person could also be at a distance. This is a distance card, and this is potentially also a distance card. Person might have mm, screwed something up here. Really feeling that codependent crap there. How does Gemini feel about this? How do you feel about this potentially? Okay, you don't feel this person learned any damn thing from this situation. Can also be a Virgo. They isolated themselves. They're acting lonely. They're hanging their head. They're feeling sorry for themselves with the five of cups there. Why the five of cups? This also can be that you're just that damn hurt. Why the five of cups? It's almost like there's still, there's a lack of love, no contact possibly. Somebody's regretful. One more. Mm-hmm. Upright, new, reversed, X. Upright, new, reversed, X. X. Okay. Somebody doesn't feel the same way. It did involve connection. It involved faith. Commitment. Your societal views of things and, and what you're comfortable with. This definitely could have been a third-party situation. You have three threes showing up here. Potential moving forward. Okay. I'm sensing a lot of gossip and bullshit that you need to ignore, first of all. With the Knight of Pentacles reverse, there's somebody sticking their nose in your shit that shouldn't be. It's nobody else's business what you have going on. This is you not focusing on, you know, you're, you're crossing your arms. You're trying not to focus on them, but you're listening to other people is what I'm getting here. And it does involve your feelings. One more moving forward. Empress reversed. This is really showing how hurt you are. Ah, can be a Taurus, Libra, 
Virgo, all signs are up here. This is a lot of hurt. This is a lot of distrust. You felt like somebody hurt you damn deeply. Forward, forward, forward. I don't think that you can, that you feel that you can trust this person anymore. Your view and your ideals of a commitment and what is long-term has been just shattered. What is absolutely new? There's, there's really, you need to heal. This is not a fun story. It's not fun to feel this way at all. You need to work on yourself and your healing. This is wanting that healing process to go too fast. Okay, you, you want, you wanted or want more balance, more of an even give and take. However, I do see potentially a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming your way can be at work, can also be somebody like through a friend, but this starts really small. It seems like they would be giving something to you that you need, so that would be compassion, stability, friendship. Temperance can be a Sagittarius. One more for what could be coming their way. This is still you holding on, you know, letting go of the past hurt, yes. Getting new perspectives, yes. Who wants the reconciliation, you or them? Could cause an argument. Somebody that feels like they are going to win, it's going to be you winning and saying, screw it, being done. Let them hold back. What do we have for absolutely single Geminis? Absolutely singles. Let's see if we can get... Element sign. Okay. Absolutely singles. King of Cups. Somebody with a lot of emotion can be older than you, but somebody that's open. Emotionally open. You're going to not have to hold yourself back. I don't feel this is sneakering bullshit because this is what's coming. Also can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that has, now the queen and the king, both are more responsible, they're more reliable, especially this queen of pentacles. That's the person that you can, that's the go-to, that's the one that puts the work into the situation. The king of cups is the one that has the emotion to offer, knows what you want. It starts small, flirty, flirty, I mean, for you singles, yes, there's definitely some, ooh. Ooh, can be a Leo. Something good. The good stuff's coming. You guys that are in connection yet, it is coming. When you drop some of the pain and are more yourself, it is coming. Then you will be ready for this choice to move forward. Until then, it's a little bit of a wait. Healing is not fun. And it does look like you're trying to speed the process up. Sadly, <sighs> doesn't always help. All right. This person does want to communicate with you. What you do with that is, you know, up to you. But I do see new energy coming your direction and singles. Absolutely. Okay, let's get an answer from source. Okay. Yes, no, maybe so from source. Okay. Not the best story, Geminis. But future hope. Beyond future hope. Good chit coming. All right. Let's see what we have. Question most on Gemini's mind. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Question most on Gemini's mind, please. Source. There we go. Ask for something else. I feel the need to get one more. It's probably not what you... Okay, you have not possible. I'm feeling that whatever you're asking for, even though it's probably not what's in your best interest, is kind of the feeling and what I'm getting for you guys. Okay, Geminis, that's what I have. Thank you so much. On to Cancers we go. All right, Cancers, just taking a moment to say thank you for the views and the subscribers. This is so much fun to do. Comments are fun. New mic, let me know if it's too loud or soft, and hopefully you don't hear Noah's music in the background so much. Cancers, dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, please source. Okay. Oh, well then. Okay. So this person here, 
huh. They're really wanting to, oh yeah, they want to move this forward. They're really trying to focus. Also can be an Aquarius, Taurus, Libra. This person might need to, it's like they're using their judgment to come your direction, but they have really good feelings. They really dig you. They think you are so attractive, so hot. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Person's India. Hermit reversed. Can be a Virgo as well. What else? Queen of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune reversed. This person feels like they've had bad luck with commitments in the past. Okay. Bottom of the deck. They're kind of defensive too. All right. Let's see what we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please. Ooh. <laughs> a lot of passion. This feels new. Can be a Leo. One more. This is getting things off the ground. It's like, woohoo, let's rock and roll. But knowing when to hold back. This person is assessing the situation. They might be seeing that you're thinking about it. Oh, I'm nosy. How they're viewing you. Slow as hell. So you might be holding, especially with this strength here, you could be holding back from this, but ugh. Actually, it looks pretty good. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Okay. This person feels like they have the upper hand. They're trying to gain a new perspective. They could be feeling that you're just dropping this. Somebody's just walking away from this. There's remorse, there's regret. Ick. All right, clean deck. Let's see what we have for cancers today. All right. Person most on cancer's mind. How are they thinking and feeling? Ooh. Okay. They're feeling like the victim. They're really irritated. One more. Why do they feel like the victim? Let's start with that. Okay. That's the devil. Can be a Capricorn. And why do we have the irritation of the Queen of Rods reversed? Two of Pentacles. Okay. So this person feels like there's some juggling going on here. That's why you got the devil making them the victim. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but this person probably thinks that you were doing something toxic. Self-soothing with drinking, drugs, screwing, uh, anything goes. Something that's not, you know, necessarily considered good for you. How do they view you, Cancer? How do they view Cancer? Okay. Okay, what else came out with that one? All right, so you have some major, they're seeing you as defensive as hell. Let's get a little more for that 10 of, 10 of swords, please, source. Let's clarify that. They see that you do not want to change. They are anxious about you. They're not a, accepting the end of this, but it could have been something toxic. Could have been competition. Four of Cups. I mean, somebody just, I mean, there's a lot of sorrow here. There's hurt. They see that you are. They don't see that you are viewing any offers. You're just kind of off in your own damn land. One more. They could also think that you want to reconcile. How does Cancer view this? How do you view this? Three of rods. There's a lot. There's a waiting period here. You're not sure what the hell to do. You have two threes. Not negative, like in third party, although it can be. Okay, so you feel like this person was a good match to you at one time. That made you feel good about yourself. You have a counterpart, basically, here and here. 
I mean, you're seeing that they're three. Okay, well, there's the god dang three that I just said we don't have yet. Okay, so it could have been. There's hurt. There's a lot of hurt. Could it have been a third party? Yes. Yes, it could have. It doesn't mean that it had to have been. Oh, crap. This is you taking an emotional break, taking a step back. That's the three of pentacles. Was this a third party? Only you're going to know. If it is not a third party situation, this is somebody that kind of demoted their, themselves by putting something toxic in between the two of you, not putting enough work and in building into this relationship that you had. You are hurt. This is your hurt. They know you're hurt. Trying to regroup yourself, okay? You're trying to meditate, feel better about yourself. A lot of waiting. This is a direction forward. It's absolutely a great card. You are going to move forward. The three is moving into, you know, it's something planning, but it's manifesting as well. Okay, moving forward, forward, forward for cancers. Forward. What do they not see? Okay, it can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is emotion. This is using your intuition. There is emotion here. Could be somebody new coming in your direction. That is the King of Swords. That's telling it like it is and not taking any shit. It's like as much as using your intuition and not taking any shit. So you won't, I don't think you're going to take any shit from that person. One more. I think you're moving in a different direction. It's going to take a little time. What you're absolutely wanting is this Ace of Cups. You want a connection that you can rely on and trust and have more balance. That's the Justice. Can be a Libra. Oh, and lots of screwing, by the way. So what's coming your direction is fun and frolic. Yeah. Somebody that's, okay, it's like you're going to, assess clearly so some of you are going to are going to try to reconcile with this person even if you do not trust them for sure mm -hmm. and there's a gemini that's a lover's card there was one hell of a tight connection at one time here the sun whatever you decide is going to make you happy but i do feel that you need to take a little time off to heal and i do think that you're going to have an aries leo sag coming your way being a little bit curious if they would stand a chance with you. What do we have for absolutely single cancers? Absolutely single cancers. It also can be three different people coming in your direction, but this is more, I'm feeling your energy here, using your intuition and telling people to F-bomb off. Absolutely singles. You're manifesting. Why the magician? You, you're going to have everything that you need to move forward one way or the other. Seriously. Okay, so you have judgment. There can somebody, somebody might, are you trying to manifest a new beginning? Because it will work. You will succeed. Will they stick around? Don't know. This is showing that, I mean, you know everything that you need. You have everything that you need. If you've been Googling up how to manifest a new beginning, how to bring back an ex, etc., it's it's there. Wanting that reconciliation. Absolutely singles. You could have a water sign coming your direction. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody that wants to learn about you. Some flirting, some messaging. Heavy on the Aries Leo Sag as well. A lot of up and down energy. There's something that needs to be cleared up and then you'll be ready to move. Now this can be an Aries too. A lot of confusing energy, but it does feel like you are manifesting either an ex back or a new relationship. Make sure that you heal in between there. For sure, it's very important to be able to take care of that. The three can definitely be manifesting. Let's get an answer from Source for Cancers. Okay, you guys should see the table after I'm done flipping cards. It's a mess. It's like my kid's bedroom. Source for cancers. What question most on their mind? Question most on their mind? 
feeling the need to stop here and you have ooh, use your intuition which i honestly can definitely see you're going to do cancer you are a water sign after all all right thank you for viewing and on we go leos leos i am taking today to stop and say thank you to all the viewing and all the subscriptions and tell you guys how much fun the comments are i love it all right oh yes a new mic so hopefully that we don't hear noah's music is heavily in the background let me know how that's working okay or if it sounds too muffled let me know that too so leo's dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius source what do we have Ooh, one or two more for that queen of pentacles Ooh, i guess we're getting three okay so this person had an ending as well i think there's something that you're not seeing about them i would uh now this can be somebody that you work with but i would uh take a little more time to get to know this person i do feel that they would be reliable i just think there's something that you do not know about their personality or ethics okay gemini libra aquarius gemini libra aquarius please Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Okay, so there could be, this person could be feeling a little bit of competition hmm, with a Cancer or an Aries. However, this is like fun, frolic. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's go on dates. Let's go somewhere. The chariot is movement. Can be somebody that's at a distance, might need to travel. This person you could meet on a travel. The fool is something fun, just jumping in and having a good time with it. I'm really feeling the need to say newer dating. I like it. I like it. You could be putting them off a little bit with uh, <laughs> letting them think that you, you date whoever the hell you want. Not Leo's, right? Stubborn. Let them wonder. Ha, ha, ha. We like that. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay. Somebody that there is good memories with, or at least they feel that there are good memories. That there's been a breakup with, and it could have been a Libra. Five of Cups reversed, there might be an apology. And a decision to make on what direction to go. So this is somebody from the past that wants to apologize. They want to keep balance here. They don't want to be separated. They're regretting. No comment. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, <sighs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got me almost stuttering here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants to come in really fast. This is flirty, fun. I like that. They're not sure. This is too new to know. You need to get to know them better to know if, if this would be somebody that could be uh, dating. I'm not going to say long-term soulmate. We're telling it like it is here. And this is new connection. Somebody flirty, not knowing everything there is about them and needing to learn more. So if you see if this would go somewhere. Okay. Clean deck, Leos. All right. Let's see what we get. Leo, oh, any mini deck. That's oh, I want this one. Okay, Leo's person most on your mind or energetic field. Who is in their field? What do we need to know? All right, there you are. So you're heavily on this person's mind. This is uh, illumination. It's something that's very, very clear and positive. They do not feel like they're getting their wish fulfillment. They also can be codependent. Let's get a clarifier on that one. Okay, so they're kind of holding themselves back. I'm really feeling the need to say. One more for that Knight of Pentacles. I want to know why. Why are they holding back? Okay. They want to succeed. This person might be trying to plot out how to come your direction. Okay. They might be a little bit intimidated, but they don't, they're not getting their way. They're not getting their wish fulfillment with you. There could be a distance between you and this person with a chariot here. There could be a 
need to travel, but this, this is triumphing. It's moving forward. It's having a lot of determination. The Knight of Pentacles is slow, but they plan. They're reliable. How do they view Leo? Leo, 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 la. How do they view you? You got two. All right. <laughs> so they're interested in dating you. Um, they, you might have kind of put a little bit of a block on them that they're not happy about with the Knight of Swords reversed. Let's get one more for that Knight of Swords. Hmm. It's like uh, how they're viewing you is a little bit cold yet. Could also be a little impatient. Careful with your words there, Leo. You do not want anybody that's just going to lead you on. Okay, that's that's how they're seeing you. It's like they, they want to start something and they're almost afraid to approach you. How does Leo potentially feel about this? Not sure if this came out sideways or not. We're just going to put it this way. Okay, you want to have good memories only. We're not sticking that name in here today. Leo's feelings. You do not want anything toxic and you do not want anything that is hurtful. You want good memories only. It can be a Capricorn. What else? Capricorn, Leo, and Cancer, heavy. Ooh. Why the Ten of Rods reversed? You do not want to be used. You don't want... Uh, it's all over this. It's like betray betrayal. You feel like there's going to be a crossroad. You're going to have to decide. Bottom of the deck, you have very defensive energy. Normal. Normal, normal. You don't, oh, Wow. You're putting a fine line. <laughs> You're like, do not cross go until I know you are reliable. Well, I don't blame you. Not one damn bit. It's underneath of that. Happiness. Okay, what direction can this go? This feels like somebody new. I'm, I'm really feeling newer energy. I don't care that the Six of Cups can be something else. Okay. So what flew out is there's your breakup that you had been in. But here's what's coming your direction. You're going to have a new chapter. <clears throat> Mike, new Mike. Sorry about that. You're going to have a new chapter. This is moving forward for you. I don't necessarily see that you're taking anybody along with you. Let's get one more. One more. You are going to wait until the time is right. Can be a Libra that's coming your direction. You're going to you're going to have somebody that's going to be giving to the situation. It starts small, can be a friend of a friend of a friend. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean that's a Libra potentially, but the balance here, the balance here a new chapter and a new beginning and being open in love after the defensive crap that you've had in the past. I like it. What do we have for absolutely single Leos with nobody on their mind? Let's see if we can get elements of nothing else. Okay, look at that. That's good luck. That's fortune. That's moving forward. That's gaining. Can be working on your finances as well. So you can have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming heavy on the Libra. A lot of ups and downs, a lot of ups and downs, but things are going to move forward for you. This, this period of hurt and being stabbed in the back, it's done. It is done. The signs, I mean, all signs are up here. Oh, healing, healing and moderation. Here's a snuggle bug. Can be a Sagittarius. Good things are coming. Oh, yeah. I like this a lot. I do. You're not tolerating anybody's crap. You're going to make sure that they are honest. And, ooh, I like it. A lot of strong energy here. Okay. Let's get an answer from source. Leo's. Leo, Leo, Leo. Notice who didn't show up. Isn't that nice? Okay, Leo's question most on their mind, please, source. Leo. Question most on their mind, please, source. More time is necessary. All right. Thank you again, Leo's, for watching. Love your faces. And on we go to Virgos. 
Okay, Virgos, first and foremost, thank you so very much to all the views. I wanted to show my appreciation and my subscribers. You guys are great. Comments are wonderful. Having fun. All right, dealing with the element of fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please source. Okay. All right, this person's holding back. They're not sure what direction they want to go in just yet. And really holding back. Not feeling lies and bullshit, although it can be, but they are seriously holding back and not sure what direction to go. Could be turning their back to you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One more shuffle. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, no, they're going to treat you like an option. Ugh, emotionally manipulating. Run like hell. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Can also be like emotional baggage too. Yeah. Ooh, 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 can be, ooh, there's a lot of passion here. Oh, can be a Leo. Let's get one more. I'm liking that one. One more. Ace of Wands is creative, new, beginning, screwing. It's very phallic. It's ooh, ooh, ooh. Wish fulfillment, emotional, fulfilled. I like it. I like that one a lot. Nice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See what we have. Ooh. So this person <laughs> slow as hell, even though it's like they're flirty, 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 flirty. They're still dragging their feet on whether they want to make a commitment out of dating yet. Okay. Clean deck. Let's see what we get. All right, Virgo, person most on their mind source. What's that person thinking and feeling? One more shuffle. Ooh, come on now. Almost float. There we go. Okay, so the person that is most on your mind. This is thus far. <clears throat> the Three of Pentacles and the King of Wands. One more for the Three of Pentacles. Please clarify that three. Ooh. This person seems a little bit on the shy side, a little more reserved. Could be holding back about putting into a connection, although I think they would work with you more than they uh, admit to. One more for the King of Wands. Oh, hell yeah. This person wants to have a connection. How do they view you? I think they're kind of, really, you know, almost dragging their feet like that night. How do they view Virgo? Oh, come on. So they see you as strong, reliable, having your shit together, potential long term. What else? Oh, come on. Nice energy. It could be seeing that you just finished an ending and therefore are ready for a new chapter. Holy crap. Not wanting to have any arguments. One more. This feels extremely new. Oh, come on. They see you as emotionally open. Ooh. How do you view this person? I just got the shivers. Okay, this would be somebody to make good memories with. Can be somebody that you're already aware of. Doesn't mean it has to be an ex. Keep that in mind. All right. However, there's always a however, isn't there? Okay. This is going to be something that you really have to think about. It's going to be a difficult decision. Why? Also could be that you're just not ready. You don't think that you're ready. The moon reversed. Ooh, one more for the moon reverse. Can be a Pisces. One more for the moon. Why is the moon reversed? I don't think there's any secrets here. However, I'm a little worried about... There it is. Competition, battling, bickering. The moon reverse sometimes can be that you're concerned about mental, emotional issues that this person might have. Queen of Swords, you wouldn't tolerate that shit. One more for how you feel. How would you feel? Well, we got two. All right. Well, we do have, there is, I don't know that you're going to be digging this. It is, you have two twos, three twos. There's going to have to be a really big decision made. 
Why the five of cups? On my shuffle. Could be somebody that you're not in, in contact with. There's a disappointment. I'm really feeling the depression. I really am. Ugh. All right. So be careful with somebody that has a lot of sexual interest in you, that wants a connection. They could be a little shy and quiet. Maybe get to know them a little better. There might not be as much frosting on that cake as you think. The nine of, of wands is, you know... Having plenty of, it's defensive. They might need to get a little bit of help. Ugh. How does this move forward for Virgo? This person really wants to start something up with you. Also can be a Gemini that is coming your direction. So you're either helping somebody that you are in connection with or care about in your life. And that's what's, you know, causing some friction in here. I see you helping somebody that is struggling, seriously, struggling. They need the help and you're offering it to them. What's coming your way as far as love? Yes. Gemini is what I'm feeling. I'm not saying this is an ex. I'm not saying this is somebody that you've known from your past. I'm saying that's somebody that's not going to treat you like an option. It's going to start small, but one hell of an offer. So, you know, this is either going to resonate for you or it's not. It does look like you need to help somebody, somebody that is struggling very hard. This is the after deck. What you have down here is the fool. So it can also be an Aries. I just got that tingle thing again. That's usually, okay, so I'm getting the download of helping big time. This is the after deck, okay? It's like what happens to the fool when they walk without looking where they're going? They fall off the cliff. There's your helper getting them back up. I'm really feeling the need to say you need to help somebody. It can be a cancer. Cut those ropes off that person so they know they're not stuck. Somebody with emotional issues. Cancer. The chariot is succeeding. So this does go well. The ace of pentacles can, you know, this is not turning so much into love as, yes, there is emotion here. This is somebody that you care about. As far as singles, yes, there can be a Cancer, Gemini, all signs are up here. But I feel like you're helping either a family member or a close friend that really needs it. There could be a gift in money or a something monetary or a new beginning. As far as doing such, one more. This is a breakthrough. Healing. There's the star. Come in, Aquarius. This is going to, I mean, this person needs somebody to lead them. And that is reliable. Hey, heavy story. That's what I'm really feeling. Mm -hmm. Somebody that used really shitty judgment in the past. I think that you're going to be helping somebody. These are pentacles. Pentacles take time. They're very methodical. Can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming your direction. I know we are technically asking about love, but somebody needs your help. They they look up to you to be a leader. They feel comfortable in your company. Hmm. What do we have for absolutely single Virgos? Absolutely single Virgos. Absolutely single Virgos. Okay. That's manifesting. That's going to a forward movement. Oh, screwing, screwing can be fun. Manifesting, manifesting, and new dating. Hmm. Ooh, but something that could lead to long term. Use your intuition. This is a soul connection. A lot of mixed messages in here. I do see that there can be somebody that needs help from you badly. I do see that you could not see a relationship coming. This opportunity is going to come just boom. And you're going to be like, where in the hell did that come from? New potential, emotional sense of stability can be a gift of money, but it's definitely something that can be a surprise. Start small, works into something bigger. Queen of Cups is using your intuition and having a lot of love to offer. Twin flame, soulmate, soul connection definitely can be. This person with the chariot and the three of wands here can be at a distance from you, but this is a new beginning. You have two aces. This is really nice energy. So signs we have up here, 
Cancer, Aries, Aquarius. There was another that I wanted to put. Pisces. All signs are up here. Those a little bit heavier. Fast action moving forward. This person sees you as stable and able. All right, let's get an answer from source. A lot of hopes. A lot of hopes. Okay. Let's see what we get from source. Interesting reading. Okay. Question most on Virgo's mind. What do we have for their answer, please, source? Maybe, but probably, or sorry, maybe, but probably not. Make sure I said that right. Okay, that's what I have for you, Virgos. Thank you for watching. Very interesting. Okay, now I'm going to go to Libras. All right, Libras. Just ta uh, taking a moment to say thank you to the viewing and the subscribing and sharing your thoughts and comments. It's like fantastico and I appreciate you guys so much. This is really fun to do. Okay, Libra's dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag. Nice. Ooh, clarity moving forward. This is communicating. This is fast action and working together. This is called new chapter. Ooh, ooh. of love. Knight of Cups. Oh, I like it. I like it. Somebody that would be willing to work with you, start a new chapter. I like it a lot. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, let's see what we have. All right, so this person had a rude awakening. They're feeling like they're just taking on, to, emotionally taking on a lot. What else? This person. They're holding back. Can be a Virgo. This person is trying to learn about a situation because this just happened. This was a major boom, fire, bleeding, ulcer type pain. This is very hurtful. A person's taking a time out. They might need a little help. Okay, let's see what we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay, don't feel that you're talking to this person. Could have booted their ass off your couch or... Locked the door and changed it. All right. One more. I'm not sure where I want to go with that just yet. One more. All right. This person was full of shit. They held back their emotions. It got them nowhere. I'm nosy. One more. They held back their emotions. Oh, now they have something to offer. The star and the ace of cups. So this person is hopeful that, the, that they could try to fix whatever the hell they screwed up. I'm putting those other two back in the deck. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Ooh. Well, then. Okay. You have the king of pentacles, the seven of rods. What's the next one? Here we go. Queen of Cups. So you have two people that are emotionally stable. One could be well off. One's got feeling like, you know, this, this King of Pentacles here, especially with saying Earth sign. This person feels like they have the upper hand. Use your intuition with this one. They might be a little bit domineering. Okay. Clean deck. Let's see what we have for... Libra. Oh, eeny, meeny, miny. Let's go with this one. Okay, person most on Libra's mind. All right. They're in a hurry. Why? Why the Knight of Swords? Okay. Let's get one more for feeling. Feeling. Thoughts and feelings. Okay, so... Huh. They want to get busy, busy, but there's a balance to this person. I don't feel that they're juggling you. I feel that there's a balance. One more. Thoughts and feelings. Nice. Holy schmoly. You might not see this one coming, but there can be a Taurus. This person wants to come in fast and furious and offer you something that, that there's faith in a situation. We're not going to say commitment long term and all that crap because we're being realistic. How do they view Libra? 
Not that it can't be, it sure can. They could be juggling the idea of that. How do they view you? Oh yeah, they wanna come your direction, offer something. I think they're trying to manifest this. They have everything that they need. It's almost like you meet this person and they're very well-rounded, has manners, knows what to say. Okay, so they see that you are open, that you're emotionally mature. Oh, I'm liking this. That's nice. This is a very, they think that you're very caring. This person can be heavy on the water sign here too. Okay, they see that you've had an ending that you've moved on from emotionally into clear waters. Notice the waters on this side are clear so they see that you are available. Well, we like that. How does Libra see this? You might actually narrow down your options for this one. What else? It's almost like you're like, wow. Oh, yeah. Judgment. Something that you definitely want to bring up with this person. What else? Why the four of coin? You might be holding back a little bit until you get to know this person better or know the situation a little bit better because of the hurt that you've had in your past that you have let go of. There could be an apology here as well. One more. Okay. You're going to make whoever comes your direction be very slow. This could be somebody that's a friend of a friend of a friend. I'm just going to put that in there. Bottom of the deck, you have possible Aries with the Fool. You have possible Aquarius with the Star. But this is called taking your time healing. But when you're ready, you will jump in because you'll know. You'll just have a feeling about it. This can be somebody wanting, you know, that you might want to hold on tightly to somebody that can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn with that page of pentacles right next to it. This person has a lot of interest in you. And it does look like they offer something really nice. The star card is having a lot of hope for a connection and you're just ready to give it. You might get, ooh, bottom of the deck, you got the king of cups. Wow. Okay, so that would be the counterpart to the queen. Anything else for Libra? Can't say it any better than that. This does look like somebody that you would start dating. Bottom of the deck now, you know, the lovers can also be a Gemini, but this looks like a really sweet potential to move forward. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we have for absolutely single, 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 single Libras? It's a nice little love story here. Liking it. Wow. Okay, so it can be. <laughs> it's happiness. It is definitely happiness. It's definitely dating. Singles. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be heading your way. Also, any of the signs that have been mentioned already. What else? Look at that, Libra. There you are. Bottom of the deck. Now you have temperance. So there's healing. There's balance. I mean, two cards that are balance are these two. Here's your balance. Wait until there is enough balance. And it's, here's two. Two's balance as well. I mean, this is really god dang sweet energy moving forward. You wouldn't be waiting in vain for this person. Look at that. The Emperor can be an Aries, heavy on the Aries here. But this is really, really, really nice energy. I like it a lot. Did I just show you the Emperor? If I did, that does mean if you are completely single, nobody on your mind, you should be meeting somebody soon. But this is something to celebrate. Something very dating, entertaining, fun share there's a scale here as well i wouldn't be surprised if it was another libra or a sagittarius oh i like it i don't think it can get much better i'm afraid to touch this we're gonna leave this shit alone yes this looks really nice there can be somebody coming back from your past but i'm not really feeling that i'm i'm feeling you know the need to that you're bringing something up wanting this balance you know letting people know exactly what you want Narrowing down your options. Mm. Let's get an answer from source. Nice energy Libra. You like it. 
manifesting some happiness. Yes, you are. Okay. Source, question most on Libra's mind today. Question most on their mind. What is the answer? Okay, you have a try. Really? Okay, so we have try again. <laughs> so we will. We're going to pull that one out so I don't get it again. Okay. You have a full show. So whatever's on your mind is a yes. Whatever question you are thinking about. All right, thank you so much, Libras. And on we go to Scorpios. All right, Scorpios. One moment to say thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. This is so much fun to do, and I appreciate the comments. This is so much fun. I enjoy this, so thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Now, Scorpios, dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. This can be somebody from your past wanting to apologize I don't think you feel the same way about them. I also see that they, I mean, they want to apologize. You have the Five of Pentacles reversed, and you also have the Ace of Cups. You don't feel the same way about them anymore, but they still want to try judgment. Definitely is somebody that has an apology that wants to try to come back around. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Keep in mind when you watch all of these, other people have different placements as well as we all do. So any of these stories could hit home a little bit for you or not. If it's not your story, don't worry about it. Okay, so you have somebody that wants to come your direction. They want to screw your brains out. Mm -hmm. They could be a little bit on the shy side. This person will give you new views about things. It's almost like they're intellectually stimulating. I feel the need to pull one more card. Six of Pentacles, nice balance, however. I kind of like that one too. I feel... Nice energy with that one. Mm -mm -mm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One more. One more. Ooh, guess we're getting more than one. Okay, so the first one that flew out is the Six of Swords. This person is moving on. You are not talking to this person right now. They are extremely hurt. They see that you are, and it's because there was somebody that was not reliable in a situation. I'm feeling a little bit of the third-party shit there. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Swords reversed. Ooh. A manipulative maniac. Very sharp with the words, very closed off. Two of Pentacles. Why the Two of Pentacles? Eight of Swords. Okay, now I'd be careful with this one. This person could be juggling. They're definitely juggling their emotions. I, I almost feel like mm, very dictatorship type of person that would make you feel very belittled. Be careful. Any signs. I don't care what the hell sign they have. Okay, clean deck. Scorpios, person most on their mind. Person most on Scorpio's mind. What are they thinking and feeling? Please source. Well, the sun can be a Leo. Person seems to be optimistic thus far. So they they have very ooh optimistic in their thoughts. They're feeling like they have a lot to offer. They also want, I mean, they want an even balance between you and them. How do they view you? How do they view Scorpio? Ooh, the star. I mean, they, ooh, they're hopeful. What else with the star? Can mean Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn thus far. Ten of Cups. They're not sure that you're ready for a relationship or commitment just yet. More for that one. Could also see that you recently became single. Now, when you see the Emperor for singles, that means you should be meeting somebody soon. Can be an Aries. This person definitely knows that you are stable, that people come to you. Um, this is like authority figure type. You know, they know that you will own the room when you <laughs> if you show up somewhere you are noticed you have going on and you are stable 
you're stable. You're not, you know, you, they know that you aren't the problem. The concern as far as wanting to commit seems to be. How do you feel about this, Scorpio? You're not sure just yet. Okay, so you have the Three of Wands. This could be some manifesting going on here that does look like there needs to be a decision made. You might turn your back to this person for a little while while you make up your mind. You have the Two of Pentacles for how you're feeling. You really aren't sure. That's a choice. Waiting for your ships to come in. You're holding back a little bit. One more. Page of Cups. You're willing to date. You're willing to start small. I think you also can be with the bottom of the deck. You have the King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups reversed. So, hmm. You don't want anything that's unreliable. There might be another person coming your way. They might be a little bit more full of shit and sappy. I really feel sappy and woohoo and boohoo. Tell me more about this page of cups. It's showing that you're willing to date, but you're not. Look at how they're looking towards each other. It's like sun, not yet. Yeah. Wow. Okay. One more for that page. Okay. You aren't taking anybody from your past back. That's the six of swords. That's showing that now this can also be that you're not taking a new offer because you want your ex back. Hmm. Potential moving forward. Potential moving forward. Let's go this way. Upright X reversed new. Upright. Okay. So you're holding on tightly to somebody from your past. Does there stand a chance? It does look like it. You have the eight of pentacles. That's putting work into a situation. Right now, I don't know that you're necessarily talking to this person. There is somebody else that is interested in you. Okay, there is more than one person here for damn sure. You have the hangman. It's like you need to gain a different perspective if you are going to go towards this person that you're holding on to tightly. So if you want your ex back, there needs to be communication. But it does look like it will happen. I mean that the communication will happen. One more for that queen. Uh, either way you go, I think, okay, so if you want to reconnect with an ex, does it stamp potential of a yes? It sure does. That's what we have here. Energies change all the time. Roles can be reversed. I don't want to pound sunshine up your ass. But this looks pretty damn good. What do we have for absolutely single, 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 singles? Single, singles. Ace of Pentacles. It's really tying in, I got to be honest. Okay, so this is a new beginning. It's an opportunity. It's an offer. Okay, it's a, an emotional sense of stability. It can be a surprise, but it's a fresh start. It's a chance. It's succeeding. You still got the Knight of Wands over here. Okay. So I'm really feeling this Aries Leo Sagittarius fire sign that wants to come in and offer you some uh, smoochy, smoochy fun. But you're more interested, it seems, in somebody that's more reliable. I mean, they have the emotion, can be an Aries Leo Sag as well. But I'm really thinking you're looking more towards, you don't want to be single from the person from the past. It's not moving right now. There was something that was lies or bullshit. But yes, there can be a reconciliation and starting over. And holy crap, it just gets better. You're anxious to get the ball going. Wow, I can't deny any of that. That is definitely some clear wanting to have a reconnection. Yes, there's potential of it. There is also for those of you that do not want your ex back, High on the Aries of the Old Sagittarius coming your direction. Strength reversed is not, it uh, can be brute force, you know, being a little bit too pushy. So be cautious of that. But it's also getting anxious to get moving. It's like, grrr, you know, you want to purr at someone. Signs that we have up here, all signs. Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, heavy on the Aries. Cancer, all signs are up here. 
like I said, the emperor, for those of you that are absolutely single, this is a very nice sign and indication that things could move forward. Nice energy. Crazy story, but nice energy. I am going to say it does look like you are manifesting some of this. Trying to make it happen. Make that shit come in. But I like it. Let's get an answer from source. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio's question. What do we have for an answer, please? Source. And you have a clear yes. Okay, on we go. Thank you so much, Scorpios. Okay, Sagittarius. Grab it and clean back. Thank you, thank you to all my subscribers and viewers. This is so much fun to do. Love the comments. Just wanted to take a moment to appreciate all of you. Okay, element sign of fire. You are dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ooh, also can be a Gemini. Hmm. This person's holding on to the past. There are still feelings here. What else? One more. This isn't over yet. That's the world reverse. There's something that just isn't done. Ooh, right after that, Ten of Cups. So reconciliation, potentially. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, can also be a Leo. That's fun. That's frolic. That's enjoying. That's moving. That's getting some rays. Nine of Pentacles. Very successful person. Really, not, not outspoken, what's the word I'm looking for? Has their shit together and very energetic feeling to them. One more. Ooh, I like it. Oh, this can be a reconciliation as well, but something to celebrate. This person would be a lot of fun. I like it. Okay, let's see what we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, small offer. Learning about you. Trying to get to know you. Could have been friend zoned. Just saying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This definitely could move forward, though. Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. So I do think you'd make this person wait. <laughs> I really do. Uh, the Magician. It's uh, <laughs> them having what they need. They might be trying to manifest you to be in a relationship. So I do think this person really digs you up. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. King of Swords reverse. Manipulative jackass. We're not really into that one so much. Very strong, edgy person and holds back on their emotions. No. We don't like that. No, we don't. Okay, let's get a clean deck. Sagittarius. Source. Person on Sagittarius' mind. What are they thinking and feeling? Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Honey, I will drop my toxic ways. I want to offer you my cup of love. Tell me more about this potential Capricorn. Can be a Capricorn. Three of Wands. Okay, so this person is single right now. You might be making them wait. Why the Three of Wands reversed? All right, now I got to say they're full of shit. You got a three that can be a third-party situation. This is something you're already aware of, and now they're single because of it. The question is going to be, are they sorry? Okay, how do they view Sag? How do they view Saggies? All right, they feel the connection between you. There was love here at one time. They want to be in a connection again. Oh, I think they're trying to manifest a new beginning. What else? Yep, sorry, it's there. They want to screw your brains right out. It can be an Aries Leo Sag. This has potential of being picked up again. Here's your reconciliation card if you're looking for it. <laughs> All right. Now, this also can be that this person dealt with this shit in their past, and now they're single and ready to offer something. So a story is going to be a little different for all of you. How does Sag feel about this? How do you feel about this? You know, this mouth on this bird is sticking out to me. Like they got narked out. They were ratted out, tattled out. All right. How do you feel? Sag. 
You want somebody that gives to you evenly. You need there to be a balance or it's a no-go. What else? Nine of Wands reversed. Why the Nine of Wands reversed? It's like there, there could be an inability to forgive somebody. Or you could be needing to let go of some of your self-doubt. A little reserved about this. Not sure about secrets. There needs to be a discussion. That's the Ace of Swords. There's a breakthrough here. There's something that's going to happen. You're ready for it to happen. So is that other person. Oof. Temperance. Can be Sagittarius. I'm really wondering. Now, everybody's story is different. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Some of you, this person moved out of the situation and they are done with toxic behavior and bullshit. So are you. So are you. But there's a breakthrough. I see two people that are very capable. One of the other is manifesting this. They want this celebration. They don't want to hold back anymore. The strength card reversed can be a little bit pushy. Temperance is healing in its moderation. This is like the cuddle bug type person. I like it. One more potential outcome. <laughs> okay, well, a couple different things here. So this is a new chapter. Ooh, bottom of the deck, you have the emperor. Could be meeting somebody. If you are single, 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 nobody on your mind, just watching because you're bored, there's definitely going to be somebody coming back. Or coming? Where did I get back? Because this is right underneath of it. This can be an ex trying to come back your direction. We'll just get that out right now. Singles. And loosely connected. Use your intuition. There could be definitely coming in Aries or somebody generally speaking into your lives. Okay. Now, back to our story here before the commercial break. This is a new chapter. It can be the end of the old chapter and a new chapter. But with this magician here, I'm saying new. I, I like it. This person seems to have a lot to offer and would put a lot of work into a connection with you. This is not a sloth. This person, look at that, will work with you. That's the three of pentacles. It's collaboration. It's building something together. This is really sweet energy. Ooh, I'm leaving it. This is really nice. Breakthrough, clarification, no bullshit, no games, no nothing. I'm liking it. Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Heavy Sagittarius, Two of Cups. That is a, let's get together and try this. Let's get together and yeah, give her hell. I'm liking it. As far as this devil over here, this can be their past or this can be your ex that's ready to drop the bullshit. The devil reversed is, I'm cleaning up my act. Okay. All signs are up here. Nice. Freaking sweet energy. Let's get an answer for Sagittarius. Answer from Source. Okay. Source, what is the answer to the question most on Sagittarius' is mind? All right. We get use your intuition. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you so very much. And on we go. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's do it. First of all, I do want to say absolutely thank you. Thank you. Much appreciate the views and the subscribers. You guys are awesome. Love the comments. So much fun to do. And I just wanted to show a little appreciation to you today. Okay, Capricorns. Dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have? Source. Okay. Hermit reversed. This person wants to, okay, there isn't any communication right now, but this person, you are heavy on their thoughts. Did they learn from the situation? No, be careful with that because they do look like they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're taking a time out, but they might want to try to come back your direction. Isolating and being, acting very boohoo and alone. Mm. All right, what do we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Okay. All talk, no action. 
I would assess that very careful. Ooh, bottom of the deck. You got the devil. I'm putting it back in. So Capricorn, that's definitely telling you I'll talk no action. Really get to know that person or go with your gut. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Boom. Okay. So it feels like this person had an ending. I don't think that they really have any ambition to do anything. I think they're a little bit hurt. Can be a Pisces or heavy on the Pisces because that is a water sign. There was an ending with this person. I don't know that they're letting on to how they really feel. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And there it is. There's that devil again. Seven of Wands reversed. I'm nosy. So, oh honey, I have dropped my toxic ways. I'm ready to act more mature and be part of the home, etc. Why the Seven of Wands reversed? That's the one I'm not liking. Defensive crap. Anxiety, uncertainty. One more. Not reliable. No. This is like a gossipy jackass. You also got the Page of Wands and the High Priestess. They could be starting to play flirty, flirty with somebody else and not letting you know what the truth. So as far as did they... No, they're still toxic. Screw that. No, thank you. Okay, let's grab a clean deck. All right. Okay, Capricorn's person. What are they thinking and feeling, please, Source? Thinking and feeling... All right, Seven of Wands and the Four of Swords reversed. This person, they're a little defensive. They feel like they have the upper hand here. One more for that Four of Swords reversed. Oh, well, they got two, so we'll go with it. This is not stopping them. Nothing's going to stop this person from coming your way. Six of Swords, they want to move into smoother waters. How do they view Capricorn? Okay. <laughs> Roles can be reversed. However, this is much, much, much the Page of Wands reversed and the Empress. You're pissed. You don't think they're reliable. I want one more for that. The Prince in this deck is the Page. You don't feel that they're reliable. They damn well know it. You're not happy. You are pissed off. Queen of Pentacles, you know your worth, you know your value, and you know that you are the one that is reliable. How do you view this? How do you view this? Okay, the Prince of Cups. So that's the Knight of Cups reversed in this deck. Why the Knight of Cups reversed? You think, okay, so you do have good memories of this person. You feel like they could be a little bit obsessed with you. Kind of wondering about their scruples. Ah, there can be some jealousy. Not sure which direction it is on, but I don't feel that you're talking to this person about how you're feeling about them right now. What you're trying to do is heal. That is temperance in this deck. Oh, 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 and you might have interest in somebody that is a Sagittarius. Look at this. Okay, so that's a lot of <laughs> sexual energy. I don't think you're talking to this ex right now, and I don't think you necessarily trust it you could be working on making good memories of this person one more for the ace of wands new upright x reversed one more shuffle Ooh, that flipped in my hand that is new somebody that would work with you could be working with them but they would build with you that is new Energy can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's the world. That is completion of one cycle and starting a new chapter. Oh, I like it. Ooh, nice. It's like breaking the old cycles. You, it's making you feel very empowered. Oh, I like it. It is success. Here's where you're going. Could be towards a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
I don't think you want to have any more bullshit like you had. That's what we're seeing here. It doesn't have to be. If this doesn't resonate, let it go. But boy, if it does, holy crap. Sexual energy. This is the temperance card, Sagittarius. Yes. Balance. Yes. Absolutely showing. This is a cuddle bug. It's somebody that has a sense of humor. They take their time. They like to go for strolls. You know, Netflix and chill. One more. This is a long-term investment. This is, I will put the work into this. This person pays attention. They're willing to put in effort. I like this. What do we have for absolutely single, single, singles? So if you were looking for a reconciliation, I don't think that's smart. Okay, five of pentacles. Singles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anything else for single, single, singles? The five of pentacles being upright, I am going to say. Careful singles, you might have a player that wants to just toy with you. So you have a heavy Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, singles. This five of pentacles does show that the person that you had dealt with, it does not look like you are speaking to, nor do you really look like you want to. You have a lot of doubt. Put that over there. The seven of pentacles, it's one less than this eight of pentacles, but it's showing a little more like, is this really worth it? Is it really worth it? This X might not think it's done. You got death reverse, so it can be a Scorpio. Right underneath it, that's the devil. Yeah, the devil wants to come back and say hi. However, Capricorn, that can be how powerful you are in getting what you want moving forward. It can be just signifying you. And underneath of that, you have the six of wands. Triumphant and moving forward, not backwards. Okay. Where was I? Singles? Singles. You might have a player that wants to come in and play and they're not sure they want to stay. I'm going to put that in there. Also can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Anything else for single, single, singles? Well, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. It's the tower. Scorpio, fire signs. Why the tower? I think it's just the sign. But there does look like there would be somebody worth dating and would commit. Lust is the... I also want to see the Leo card. Strength. Holding back, compassion, passionate. I don't care if you're single, loosely connected, or what. There's there's definitely forward movement. If you're looking for a reconciliation, it's not looking like this person's changed. I do see new suitors coming your direction. Wow. Nice. Let's get an answer from source. This is really nice energy. Nice, nice, nice. Might not feel like it right now, but oh, oh boy. If this resonates, this is definitely good stuff. All right. Question for Capricorn. Question most on their minds. What do we have, Source? And we have, unfortunately, not. And what came oh, out with it is certainly not. So that is the answer we have. <laughs> on the bottom of the deck, you even have a no way. So I, I believe the answer is no to whatever you're thinking about. But nice, sweet energy. All right, thank you, Capricorns, and on we go. Okay, Aquarius. First, I want you to say, I'm not sure I put my mic on again. I'm trying to cut down the noise reduction for Sir Noah. Okay, first, I want to say thank you to all those that view, like, and subscribers. Love you guys. This is so much fun. Just wanted to show a little appreciation. Okay, now we'll jump in. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, let's have some fun, fun, fun. Aries, Leo, Sag, what do we have? Source. Okay. We have two. Let's see what we have. This can be a Virgo. This person, <laughs> they might be a little on the shy side, but deep down, they want to get rolling, moving, grooving. Can also be a Virgo. I think they've kind of taken a time out and they're ready just to get the hell going. Could be fun. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
elements first, and then we will jump into a mini spread and see what we get. Okay, uh, this is player. <laughs> it doesn't get any clearer. You don't see it, but they're a player. This is not busted yet, but it sure the hell could get that way. Ick. No, we don't like that shit. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please source. All right, let's see what we have to start with. Okay, this could be somebody wanting to come back around, drop the fights from the past, no longer having to be 100% right about everything and argumentative, but it's some nasty fighting that had happened. This is a conversation that needs to happen. Somebody does not want an ending. So that definitely could be an ex coming back your direction and give a shit what placement they have. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Not sure if that bounced or not, so we're just going to say Ten of Cups for now. Ten of Cups. What else? Mm, Queen of Wands. One more. Now, you could have friend-zoned somebody, but they, they definitely have interest in you. Whether there was a connection here or not, there's it's like there's more than one option here. So I'd be a little leery on that. Okay, let's get a clean deck. All right, Aquarius. Person, most on Aquarius's mind. What are they thinking and feeling right now? Source, thinking and feeling. Okay, well, I jumped out quickly. So can be a Capricorn. Let's go with that for now. Can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do we have the devil here for? Why the devil? This can be that they're obsessed with you, but they have emotions to offer. So let's just, let's go with that for now. Nope, they're not. Okay, so that's a very defensive person. Why? What are they sticking up for? They feel like they have, this can be a controlling jackass. It uses your emotions. How do they view Aquarius? One more shuffle. How do they view Aquarius? I have a feeling this is very elite to somebody specific. Okay. They know that you are telling your truth. You are talking the truth. That you are reliable. And you are going to be... You're sick of that. You're dropping this. It's like, I'm done with this shit. I know my value. I know my worth. How do you feel about this? Ooh. <laughs> You're like, keep it. Okay, that's like all talk, no action. Don't come near my ass. I will pull this sword out and use it on you. A lot of clarity here. A lot of speaking your damn truth. It looks like you're working on your own wish fulfillment. That is getting happy within. It is wish fulfillment, and yes, I do see that you still want a relationship. I just don't think that it's necessarily with the devil. Oh, let's see. Devil reversed. New upright. New. Okay, so page of pentacles. This looks like a new beginning. This is somebody that wants to learn about you or vice versa. What else? Okay, I mean, this is really nice energy. Wow. Making new memories. This looks like new dating. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bottom of the deck. We're going to cover that devil up. The star. Coming to Aquarius, coming in direction. This looks like new-er dating. Somebody bottom of the deck that is reliable can be an Aquarius. This also can be you getting hopeful because there's something to be hopeful about. Finally seeing something that has some reliability to it. One more. Seven of swords reversed. Little history lesson. Your ex might still uh, not think that they're done with you and might want to argue, but I see that you are moving on to, so you're done with it. That is death in this deck. That's saying I've had enough can be a Scorpio that you are meeting. I don't feel that you're holding, you know, you're not holding on to that ex anymore. You're letting go of it. It's like you've done your share of hurt. You're, it's not even like you give a shit anymore. Okay. Here's what we have for you. New. This is showing how open you are. You're making a decision. That's the two of wands. The two of wands is moving forward. It's, it's making a decision. It's a fork in the road. The high priestess. I think you're going within and making your own damn choices. 
It can be somebody that's coming your way that is a little shy. It can be a Pisces. What else is up here? All signs are up here. Capricorn is heavy, but we're going to, you know, just an Aquarius. Love. Love. New opportunity. That's showing that you would be to this future person very open. I'm not going to say, oh, you meet the love of your life. I don't pwn sunshine up people's butts on my channel. I'm realistic. And this looks like new energy coming your way and you holding back a little bit. You're not going to, you know, you're not just going to spew, oh yeah, you're the light of my life. And this is, no, it's showing you holding back a little bit, making sure that the person that comes your direction is reliable. But, you know, there is a choice that needs to be made, but you, you're ready for it. This X shit really seems to be so done that you only talk to them if you absolutely have to. Something to celebrate is coming your way. I mean, this looks really nice. Anything else they need to know? Knight of Pentacles. That's you taking your sweet ass time. Go ahead. Holding back on your emotions before you just jump right in. Very, very done with the X bullshit. What else? Seven of Cups. A little bit of confusion. Okay, I feel like you have a sappy jackass X that's going to still be kind of pulling on your heartstrings or trying to. That makes you feel guilty. Just saying. What do we have for absolutely single, 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 singles? Not thinking about anybody or trying not to. Singles, elements, signs. All right, let's see what we have. Queen of Swords. So, I'm oh, sorry, Noah's <laughs> giving me that look. The Queen of Swords is, whew, you're not dealing with this ex's bullshit. It's all about me, woe is me, victim mentality shit. That is for sure. Single, single, singles can be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius coming your way. But ooh, 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 eventually, this is what you don't see coming. That is a connection. It is a soulmate. Soulmates don't have to be a person that you've been dating for years. Ooh, bottom here, we also have reliability. When you see the emperor, yes, it can be an Aries. But when the emperor comes up for absolutely single people, it means that you should be meeting somebody soon. And right underneath of that, with this long-term potential, reliability, stability as far as finances, I feel the need to put that in there, is a connection. It's mutual. I love this card. I love this card. Nice energy. Your ex is still hanging on like a leech. Yeah, just is. You know, they need to uh, get a hobby, learn how to knit, crochet, something. It really feels that this person from your past, it would be one hell of an opportunity to move to uh, a foreign country so that they couldn't pester you. Those of you that want to be in reconnection with an ex, it does look like they might come back to try. Okay, let's get an answer from source. Aquarius. Aquarius. One answer for Aquarius, please, source. Question most on their mind. All right, I'm seeing this card. So you have a full show. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much. That's what I have for you today. And on we go to Pisces. All right, Pisces, I just want to take one moment to say thank you for all the views and to my subscribers and comments and likes. You guys are wonderful. This is so much fun to do. I want to show a little appreciation before we jump in. Pisces dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. What do we have source? One more shuffle. All right. So the fire sign. Now this can be a disconnection or an ending with you or one that they had themselves. Let's get a little more. A little more info. Okay. Now this is an ex that wants to start over. That's a return. Not being able to walk away from something can be heavy on that Aries, but it's somebody wanting to come back and start over. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Jumped right up. Okay. Oh, well, hell. This is somebody that wants to work with you. 
If you are absolutely single, this is sweet ass energy right here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Also heavy Aries. Heavy Aries. This is going, look at the rainbow. This is a nice connection. I will put the work into this. I will concentrate on you and I will be stable. I have a lot to offer you and I want to try this shit. I like that. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hey, buddy. Okay. We have the devil reversed and the page of wands reversed. I would say that they're trying to make off like they're not toxic. But I don't think, I mean, they're a big freaking flirt. I don't know. But that doesn't look extremely reliable. I'd probably keep a new chapter away from that one. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Notice I moved it out of the way. To me, when I see the devil reversed, it's like toxic things can, it's almost like people that fall off the wagon. Well, I won't cheat on you this time. Mm. Okay. Sweet, fond memories. Why? All right. This is an ex wanting to come back. You might take the offer. I'm just saying. Make sure you take the blindfold off and see if you're actually heading into clear waters or shitty waters. Okay. Clean deck. Clean deck. Any, mini, mini, mo. Let's take this one. It's nice and colorful. Oh, and you're at the bottom of the deck. We have the moon. Pisces, person, most on their mind. What are they thinking and feeling? Not sure if this one was reversed or not. We're just going to go neutral on that. Okay, so this is can be a Leo, somebody that has something to offer, wants to talk, has an interest in you. One more. They boss up though, King of Cups. So this could be something that would pay off to jump into, get involved with. One more for that Strength card. Ooh, well I like this. So it can be Sagittarius, heavy on the fire, heavy on the water. This is the cuddle bug. This is the, I have a lot to offer. Uh, this is moderation, not too pushy, where strength is also moderation. That's nice energy. Let's see how they view you, Pisces. Okay, they see recently that you have been in a breakup, that you've taken an emotional time out to clear your thoughts, clear your head, and that you are single right now and very capable of taking care of yourself. Bottom of the deck, you have the hangman. That's showing a lot of uh, introspection, trying to, you're right at the bottom of the deck. It's like you're really considering a new relationship is what I'm seeing here. That's nice energy. I think the story does about, there's somebody that wants to come your direction really fast. You're kind of being quiet from it. This person is reliable and yes, but we are going to flip the deck back up and see how do you view this person? Ace of Cups, that's being open emotionally. That's having something to offer. That's, yes, that you would be interested in this person. This is after you've walked away from something that no longer served you, was toxic. You would be sexually interested and want to move forward. That can be a cancer. Nice. I like it. Holy crap. So, yes, I do think that you, if you haven't met this person already... <laughs> this is coming your way. This can be somebody that's at a distance, I will say. does not have to be. There could be a travel that's needed to get to this person. However, this is succeeding. It's moving forward, and it's being freaking determined to do so. Anything else Pisces needs to know? All right. Let's see what we have. There it is. The world. Holy crap. This is starting over. This is a brand new chapter, something to look forward to. One thing is complete. In this deck, this is, look at her meditating. You have the upper ground. This is really nice, 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 nice energy. I like it. What do we have for absolutely singles? Absolutely singles, nobody even in your thoughts. 
Let's see if we can get an element. That is the emperor. That is a really good sign that somebody should be coming into your life soon. Can be an Earth or a Libra. Can be an Aries. Look at the major arcana here. If you do not feel like good things are coming your way and you're really still right here, it's coming. You're able to, you know, you might not want to be single right now. But wow, I'm almost speechless. That's the second time today that these readings, this is birthing of a new relationship. It's being very capable of knowing what you want and able to move forward. Heavy on that Leo. Oh, look at that. So, singles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, should be meeting somebody soon. Can be any of the signs that we mentioned already. Sagittarius, a lot of fire up here, a lot of screwing. A lot of Aries, Leo, Sag, some pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Really taking a step back and deciding, you know, checking out the investment. I'm not going to say doubt in this case. I'm saying I'm going to plant these seeds and see where the hell it goes. I want to see if the corn grows. I've had enough of this shit. You know, it's like I want to move forward. Heck yeah. There is somebody coming your way or you go on their way to offer something. Take them out. Look at that dude. She, he's got it going on. Emotionally, I mean, it's not a king yet. No, but it's getting there. Here it is. Has to start small. I like this energy. This is like, ooh, nice, nice, healthy. I like it. New opportunities. This person that's coming your way, especially for singles that you have not met, known nothing yet, is really going to think you are just the cat's meow. Very nice energy. Singles, loosely connected. Doesn't matter. Okay. Wow. <sighs> nice. New chapter, new chapter. It's coming. And I am hoping that that resonates for most of you. All signs are up there. Heavy on the Aries. Cancer. I'll take a double peek at Leo before we um, get a question answered for you. Cancers. Um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Libra, Sagittarius, and Leo again there. But wow, wow. All right, question most on Pisces, mind please source. What do we have? Ooh, look at that, how that flipped. The answer is yes. Oh, you guys, wow, nice. Well, thank you so very, very much for watching. Many blessings, and we will see you next time.